All right, YouTube model rocketeers. I made a mistake here with my uh, VT80 upscale Patriot. I got my rail button back here installed properly, but I joined the two tubes together before I installed the button here where I wanted it. And that's a pretty long way from the end of the tube, so I can't reach my hand in there and install my rail button. So I fed a piece of string through the rail button hole and then I brought it out and put my rail button mount and tied a knot. So now I can reach up in there with a dowel and glob glue in there and then pull my string until the rail button pops out through there. Let me show you that. So you can see there, I pulled the string until the rail button came through. And I made sure the string was long enough so that I can pull the string out. You know, because the knot's on the opposite side of that rail button. So I'll just reach in there with the dowel, glob glue all around there. The string will take it, will scrape away some of the glue as I pull it. But I'm going to put it 360. There'll be enough glue left to hang on to that rail button. So if you make a mistake like I did and don't put your rail button when your tubes are apart so you can reach in there, you can use a string, a string trick, and just put a knot on the back end of the rail button mount and pull it into place with a string. That'll work. So I'm going to use rocket epoxy for this because it's a little thicker and it'll hold in place a little better than, you know, just wet, drippy, regular epoxy. This rock epoxy is thicker. And I made myself a little dowel there that's the right length. I put a Q-tip on the end of my dowel and set it to the right length so that'll reach right up to the, uh, right up to the rail button hole there from the inside. So hopefully you can see up there, I've got that rail button glued in with rocket epoxy. I don't know why this LED headlamp is flashing like that, but you can see I've got the button in there. And there it is, right there. So there we go, glued the base in, put on the button, put on the securing screw, leave it just loose enough to rotate a little, and done.